Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a map animation so that you can make your travel videos and vlogs look way more professional. Right guys, so as I said at the start, a question that I've been asked before in the comments of my previous videos is Ruan, how do you create those cool map animations at the start of your travel videos? So in this video I'm going to show you guys just how quick and easy it is to do that. I'm going to be using a software called Keynote and a MacBook Pro, but the same thing can also be done in Windows using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Right, so the first thing we want to do is jump into the computer, into our MacBook. Okay, now the first thing I need to do is open up Safari and I'm going to go to your browser and I'm going to open up Google Maps. So type in Google Maps and we are going to generate a map within Google Maps. Okay, zoom in a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Now let's say for example, we wanted to generate a map from or a route from Dubai to Diba. I can type in Diba over here as our first location and then I go to directions and I type in the starting point which would be Dubai. And that's going to generate this blue route for us, which Google regards to be the shortest route from A to B. But I don't want to follow that route. I actually want to come down this way. So I'm just going to move my cursor down there. So I'm drawing, I'm going to be animating or creating a map that looks something like this. Now, there we go. It's one hour, 49 minute journey, 156 kilometers from Dubai to Fujairah. I'm just going to do a screenshot of that. Command shift five on a Mac. We can just adjust our screenshot area so that we just get the relevant area in that we want to focus our attention on, something like that. And I'm going to hit capture. Now I'm going to create a clean version of the same map because what I want to do is not have this blue line there. I'm going to create this blue line or this route in a different software, which is called Keynote. And I'm going to animate that. So I'm just going to clear that. And now I want to create a nice quality background map, either using the satellite or terrain or traffic. You can see there's various options over there. But for now, I'm just going to remove all of these options over here. And I'm going to go with a nice clean version of the map that looks like that. Right. So what I want to do now is do another screenshot. Command, Shift and 5. And I just want to capture the relevant area in my map. I can bring this window for the screenshot a little bit in on that side. So I don't have that much of the C bring it in a little bit more that looks fine now we go to capture okay now the next thing we need to do is open up keynote and it's going to ask us do we want to create a new document i'm going to hit new document now it opens up a couple of templates for us over here the basic white template is the one that i normally use i'm clicking on that and create now I'm just going to remove all of this pre-populated text so that we've got a nice clean blank canvas to start working from. The next step we need to do is to import that screenshot of the map that we just took in Google Maps. So I'm going to go to media, choose, and I'm going to look for that screenshot. The one that we just took now, I'm just going to open up this area a little bit more. There we go and insert that map. So there we go, a nice clean version of the map. And I'm just going to stretch it out. You want to stretch it out so that it extends past the edges of your canvas. And you can just zoom out a little bit using the zoom button over here. Just to make sure that the map is stretched out across the canvas and there's no white bits of canvas showing behind. That's perfect. Now the next thing we need to do is to start drawing our map. Now I'm going to just change my zoom. Let's leave it at 50% for now. That's fine. Okay. 
Now we're going to use the shape tool and we're going to go to this little icon on the shape tool that is called the draw with the pen tool. Click on that and we're going to start drawing our map. So starting from Dubai. I'm going to start drawing our map just by clicking on the points, the coordinates that I want to connect up later when I start having this route. And for your first version of this route, it can be quite rough and ready. It doesn't have to be too accurate. We just mainly want to get a line drawn from the start to the end point. So there we go. And we double click at the end point. Now that's our route that we've drawn. I'm going to change the color so that it's a little bit more clear to see. I'm going to change the color for, to red. And I'm going to change the thickness and make it a thicker line so we can really see that starting to stand out. There we go to let's say 14. Perfect. Now if we want to just add a little bit more detail to that and get it a little bit more accurately drawn. We can go to, I'm just going to go to my zoom over there, make it even tighter, 100, just to zoom into some of these areas. Now you can see that what it's done is it's created little markers for us at each area where I dropped the pen tool where I clicked. Now between those markers is a little circle. You can see this is a little square and that's a square. That's where I clicked. And in the middle between the two squares is a little circle and those circles you can click on them and then you can drag and drop that line where you want to drop it like that. So again, we can click that little circle there and we can drag this line through to there and drop it there. And as soon as we do that, then we get another circle between in the center point between that point and that point. And again, we can click that center point, that little circle and move it to there. And over here, we get a center point between the two squares, which is that little circle there. We can click it and drag it over there. And so we go and we can clean up this map and make it slightly more accurate in actually following the road. I'm just going to pan across. And there we go. I quite like that. I think that's perfectly fine. There we go. Right, now the next thing we need to do is to add an arrow to the end of our map. So we go to the end points and I'm going to select arrow. I can see it's added the arrow on the wrong side over there. So I'm going to deselect that and I'm going to go to the other side and click the arrow there. There we go. Perfect. And now I'm going to change I'm going to change the line type from a solid line to a dotted line. There we go. That's looking a lot better. And we're really starting to make good progress with this animated map. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually animate this line that we've drawn over here. So for that, we click on the animate tool on the top right hand corner over here. Add an effect. And I'm just going to go to the line draw. Click that. And there we go. Now we can change the time of that animation at the moment to set to two seconds, but we can change it to, let's say five seconds and preview that. And that's starting to look really good. Now the next thing we want to do is add a little bit of text to that. So I'm going to click on the text box over there. And as soon as I've done that, it places a text box text box in the middle of the screen over there. It's going to move that to where we want it. Let's say over there somewhere. So in the text box over there, we're just going to type in the time for this journey, which was approximately one hour, 49 minutes. And it was a 152 kilometer journey. I'm going to select that text over there and go to the format button there and then to text. And I'm going to change that to a red color as well. And change this to a bold and maybe increase the size ever so slightly as well. Right, there we go. I can drag that to where I want it to be. Perfect. 
Now, I want to add an animation to this text as well. What I want to do is I want to have it fly in from the left hand side over here and then move across to the right hand side and drop in as this line is being drawn as it comes to a close. So I'm going to go to animate, click on that, animate, add an effect, and I'm going to go to fly in. That's one option. It looks pretty cool. I can also go to move in, which is better. That's what I'm looking for. And I want to change that to three seconds. Awesome. That looks really, really cool. Right. Now, the next thing we need to do is check out our build out order because we've got two animations. So we're going to click on this button down here, which is build order. We can see we've got one animation can preview that, which is the line that's been drawn. Remember that's five seconds. And the second one, which is the text, and I can preview that, which is the text flying in from the left hand side. And that animation is three seconds long. If I click off of these uh, number one and two build orders, just on the gray area over here, and then do a preview, it's going to show us what the two animations look like together. Really, really cool. I like the look of that. So that's it. Now, guys, we've done our animation. It's looking good. The next thing we need to do is to export this to a movie. I can close this. And for that, I'm going to go to File, Export to Movie. This little dialog box comes up. Make sure you've got the movie selected. Self-playing is fine. Slides from one to one because we only have one slide. Go to the next slide after five seconds. That doesn't really matter because we only have one slide. So irrespective or regardless of what you put in that dialog box over there, it's not going to make any difference. You could change it to zero or you could have it as five because we only have one slide. Go to the next build order after two seconds. That's what I'm looking for. Resolution will be custom and then we change it to 1920 by 1080, which is the right size for YouTube. 30 frames per second, and I choose usually Apple ProRes 422 is the compression type. Next. Now it's going to ask us to save that as, give it a title. We're going to call that Dubai to Diva Map Animation. Here we go, and export. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back to Finder, and I'm going to look for that animation that's been saved in my desktop over here. So I'm in my desktop right there, and I'm going to look for that map animation. Remember what we called it, Dubai to Diva map animation. There it is there. Double click to open it. It's going to drag this. Hit the play button and there we go. Awesome. So there you have it guys. Super easy, nice and simple. And that is how you draw an animated map and then you can use that in your YouTube videos. Guys, if you found value in this video, please like and please remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.